So on this video, I'm going to show you how I made a lino cut stamp. So I'm, I'm making a little ladybird or ladybug, as you say over in the States, I think, and ladybird we see here in the UK. Am I right with that? So basically, you're going to need your piece of um, lino, you're going to need a cutting tool, you're going to need some ink, something to use to dab in the ink to stamp onto it when it's finished. And it will look like this once you've cut it out. Obviously, this is a bee that I've done in a previous video. I guess that it took about two and a half hours um, in bits to um, carve it out. So what I like to do first is just, I usually make a template like this just so I can get a really good idea of the outline of it rather than just drawing it straight onto the, the vinyl. Although you can do, the line I should say, you can just draw it straight on if you want. And it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you can just do it in pencil. So once you've got your design idea, yep, just cut around and leave about a centimetre and then I think it's just a good way on making use of the rest of the uh, lino because it's quite expensive. So just cut off what you need and then just position it, your template on and then just draw around it. Now you can go on Google Images and find an image and put it the right size you want. Either trace it from the screen or print it out and then cut it out as your template like this. So sometimes what I do is I use my template just to really get the shape of the body just so I've got the, the pr proportions right and then I can just draw in the details later. So I'm just using a fine black pen here just because it shows up uh, much easier. Now this is okay because I know these lines are definitely right but when I'm drawing the legs in I do it with probably a pencil first and then just go over me with my pen. So now all the black bits that you see here are bits that I'm not going to be cutting out. So we just think in your head the black bits are the bits you're not going to be cutting out. So I'm putting bits of detail in here, I probably won't be able to cut this out as detailed as I'd like to because, um, well, for one it is quite tricky sometimes getting texture um, and also, yeah, the smallest tool piece that I use um, has a limit to, to cutting the rubber and, and how detailed you can get things, but it just takes a bit of patience. So I'm just going over here and just reminding myself these are the bits I'm not cutting out and just colouring them in. So, um, and also use a black sharpie pen as well, just to get more, um, just for speed really. And I think me, me thin pen there was just starting to dry up a little bit, which it'll do from time to time, you just got to keep going on to paper. So that's all uh, my ladybug drawn. So all I need to do now is carve out the pink bits um, to about a three millimetre depth. Ah, oh, mini. <laughs> I bet you've missed seeing Minnie on here. It's just, um, she's just adorable. Should be five at the end of this year. Don't know where the time's gone. <laughs> it's always under my table when I'm working on it. So this is a bench hook. So it just hooks over the edge of the bench and then it keeps everything tidy and neat and square on. And you put your bits of li um, lino against it and you can kind of work against it. So you're kind of pulling against it and it, um, it just, gives you a bit, nice bit of leverage. I use it for lining up my cards, for to do stamping on them, I use it for all sorts. So the carving tool that I've got here, I'm just screwing off the, uh, the end and putting in this new piece here and then screwing it back on. So this tool, the vinyl, the ink, the bench hook, um, most of the stuff that I've bought here, if not all, um, I, just, I just got online. So I'll leave a link down below. I'll leave links down below so you, if you want to check any of that out if you fancy trying this yourself. Now, I usually just get straight in there and start trying to go around the edge of the, the ladybug. Now, there's no actual, well, there might be a good way on doing this, but I just like to kind of get stuck into going right around the edge. And then I get a bit bored sometimes with that. Then I'll get the wider scoop um, piece and I'll do the bigger bits. To be honest, I think there's about, I'm guessing there's about seven tool ends, but I use the biggest and the smallest, so this is the nice wide flat one. This just um, saves time and makes it easier to to get the depth down on the wide areas where you don't have to be too careful. And then I swap it back for the little angled small um, tool end. So yeah, the end of this tool just screws off and then you just pop on the one you, you find um, is doing the job the best. So here I've already done a, tried to stamp out, so I've just used this um, really good little idea, this little sponge on the end of a stick because you got you got like a really nice flat surface of sponge so then I just dip this straight into that actual ink so I'm just using speedball ink, I think it's pretty much the best one 
Um, you can use it, you can print on the fabric, you can print on basically anything with this. Pretty much anything. So I like to use the lid just to even it out on the sponge so I've got a nice consistency. But then the good thing with this, you can just twist it as you're stamping and then if you have got a bit more ink on one side of the sponge, it will just kind of all even out. So as you can see, well I have already stamped this, so you can see the ink's pretty much gone everywhere, apart from a few little bits, but obviously it's just the raised bits, um, the bits that were black pen that I haven't cut out, um, they'll be the bits that um, create the, the ladybird stamp. I'm just going to zoom in here, so you can see it a little bit better there, a little bit, you can see the raised areas there. Now when I first do my stamp, um, when I first done it just not long ago there and I just stamped it there's a few bits that were that were shown that I didn't want so you just have to keep going back to your stamp and trimming off the scooping out the extra little bits that are um, maybe it's just a, not cut far enough back so they're shown there you go little bits of ink on the top there I think were already on me <laughs> already on the paper this is just me showing you so you can put more ink on and have more of a bold design or you can put a bit less on and it'll be a little bit more grainy. So that's how to make a lino cut um, stamp. It's nice and thick that lino so you don't need to attach it to a block I don't think. I think it's just perfect the way it is. So I've done these plain cards. So I've just stamped the bug on. And then I've actually stamped the envelope at the back as well. You just have to be careful and make sure you keep this bit nice and flat when you're stamping down on the envelope. And I've also done it on a brown card. And I've also done like three just running about randomly so I've done those two different designs and then can you see the bee gift tag here uh, I've also made the ladybug ones um, yep so I already had the bee gift tag ones in my shop but now I've got the um, the ladybug ones in fact what I've done instead of just putting everything separate in my shop I've put one of each so you can buy one of each designer card and then you can get two of the bee tags two of the ladybug tags um, so there's a couple of options on there now, so it's just a bit, um, gives you a bit more um, kind of variation instead of buying, having to buy just one colour. So that is my little set, I'm really pleased with the way this, turn, this turned out. I just love stamping, I've stamped my parcel there if you notice there, and um, I just stamped some brown paper. I've been working from the ground today, so space is quite limited. That is not my lampshade, it's a collar for the dog. Because we've just been to the vets and they insisted I took the collar, although I know she's not going to wear it. Because she's got a bit of an irritation on her side, um, which is fine in herself. She's just um, having a lazy afternoon here. Um, but it's obviously just to stop her from, from licking it. But uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> she's trying to pick out words from what I'm saying. Oh, she's no bother. So I'm going to take her down to the woods uh, very soon. <laughs> so she kind of knows what I mean. I'm pretty sure she knows what I mean. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and you know a little bit more about a lino cut stamps or certainly how I've made mine. I have recently been talking to somebody and she said that what she does is she sometimes she'll, she'll heat up the rubber like even just on the radiator. And she said it's much softer to carve. But I find that that particular line, um, line was fine anyway. Um, for carving, you know, I think it's all about technique. But just a little tip that might be easier if you try warming it up a little bit. So that is it from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. And please comment and like if you have. And I'll see you again real soon, hopefully, with another video from Minnie and Moore. Bye for now.